yeah, you know, I didn't want to say anything in front of everybody or I didn't want to say anything, but you know, you're kind of, you're kind of musty. You're kind of smelly. Like I didn't want to, and that's like a whole nother story. And I know this sounds so like corny and so cliche and it, and it just speaks, but really like people's energy will speak for them. Right. Or at least it'll whisper. It'll give you a little hint into what their, their energy will give you a hint into what they're about. Right. And. Hey and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. Um, this is another video that was on my heart to do. Um, it's kind of been something I've been thinking about doing for a while, but I didn't really have it all put together. So I like to think about I like to think about my videos now instead of just getting on camera and talking. I like to make I like to write down my thoughts first. So yeah. Really this video is another shower thought. Vibing solo, right? And how that's okay. And for, it's been something that I've kind of always gone through, but more so lately, I've been trying to kind of dissect why and understand if, is it me? And is there something wrong with me? Am I too hypercritical, too judgmental? Am I too this, too that? Am I, why is my, why are these like connections and friendships, why are they so weird? <laughs> and I've learned man have I learned boy have I learned um, that it's totally okay to vibe solo Solo, it's totally okay to be exclusive with your energy exclusive with your friendships exclusive with your video um, a little more personal and just talk about things that I've gone through. But I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use vague terms. I'm gonna like I'm gonna talk about what I've gone through, right? And what I've gone through with my friendships. So why it's okay for to vibe solo? Um, I was worried for a second, like I said, I was worried that maybe I was being hypercritical, judgmental. Maybe it was something was wrong with me. Maybe I'm doing and no. Um, I personally have gone through like some weird things with so in my experience people will always tell on themselves first of all their energy and i know this sounds so like corny and so cliche and the energy speaks but really like people's energy will speak for them right or at least it'll whisper it'll give you a little hint into what their their energy will give you a hint into what they're about right I don't say that from a place of judgment. I don't say that from a place of like, I'm better than anyone because I know I'm not better than anyone. I know I got my issues, but I'm just being real. I'm just being honest. Like people's energy will whisper to you, will speak to you. You you, you kind of know who will, will, will vibe and who will vibe and who people's energy will speak to you. At least it will whisper to you before they even say it. People will always tell on themselves about how they feel about you truly. Just you just kind of, you just kind of listen, pay attention and be receptive to it right people will always tell on themselves their energy will give you a little hint and then their mouth will validate that feeling and just pay attention uh, this is kind of something i've always dealt with but more so i'm seeing it more now that i do more like self-reflecting and like you know things of that nature i know i'm not perfect i know but i am trying right i am trying so and and through doing that that those things i'm able to like pick up on it more and I've just been noticing it more. And this, so, like I said, these stories going to be a little bit more personal. Uh, people's energy is going to speak before their words speak. So I remember this one time, um, years ago, years ago, years ago, I was like kind of going through a breakup. Um, this is like personal story. I guess I'm getting personal, but whatever. I guess that's what YouTube is for. I am sharing my thoughts and my stories. Anyway, um, I was going through a breakup and I had to move out of that house I was in. I was living with uh, one of my exes and things just went south and I had to go like literally it was like a get out type of thing I had to just like get out like I was like can't do it abort mission um so at that time I remember it was July 4th 
or it was coming up on July 4th or that was the, the, ho the major holiday that weekend or whatever. And I had literally got all my stuff, put it in a car and was like, I had nowhere to go. And uh, um, I was talking to who was later my boyfriend. I was talking to him at the time. And so we wound up hanging out all day. Uh, my friend had an event she invited us to. Mind you, all my stuff is in the car. I'm basically homeless. I have nowhere to go. I'm going through it. Anyway, I go hang out with this friend, um, and we're having a good time. Good night. Uh, I was like homeless now, so I didn't really have anywhere to go. So I'm hanging out for the night. Like I'm just chilling, hanging out. Um, anyway, it gets, it gets late, and eventually um, it's time to go. And like, as as it's time to go, it's like you know we're talking, we're trying to wrap, we're wrapping it up. You know, we're wrapping it up, having that wrap up conversation. And she's like. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to say anything in front of everybody or I didn't want to say anything, but you know, you're kind of, you're kind of musty, you're kind of smelly, like I didn't want to, and that's like a whole nother story because it's like, first of all, like, okay, so, side, this will be a side story, this will be a, a, a digress, like I digress, or is that the right, I don't know, anyway, this will be a side story. So I stopped using deodorant because I had found a lump in my breast and I thought maybe I had breast cancer. Um, and that's not, okay, so I didn't, at that time that all that was happening, I did not fully start, stop using deodorant. I just, I was on and off of it, like on and off because I'm like, oh, I can't stop, I can't stop wearing deodorant. I, I smell, I gotta, gotta wear deodorant. Um, but this was one of the times, like I, I started to stop deodorant many, many times. Like, I, well, I haven't used it now in years, but at that time I was like back and forth on and off of it because I would smell. Um, of course, as anybody does, right? Because when you sweat. Anyway, this was a time that I was like trying out not using deodorant. Like I was still in and out of it. So this was my out of it phase. But not only that, not only that, I had had a whole day of like basically getting kicked out of my space, not having anywhere to go, moving my stuff to my car. Sleep, you know, like about this might be my first night sleeping in my car. I'm like going through it. It was July in the valley, hot, like a hundred plus degrees. Um, so I had had a day and then at that time when she told me that that night I was like she didn't know anything about this I didn't tell her anything about like me just getting kicked, you know me, me just having to leave my place putting my stuff in my car I didn't tell her anything about that because that's not what we were there for we, it was just kind of we were hanging out and I wasn't about to bring that to that you know what I mean so I didn't t she didn't know that yet but she told me that and that and in that moment I just realized like people really don't care what you're going through people only care about their senses right and their perception of things right so not only had not only was i like hot and sweaty from literally moving my stuff to my car and just being outside all day not really having anywhere to stay not only that i had a health scare which had kind of scared me off of the, using deodorant the, the heavy metals and things like that um with that and i'm like thinking about like she wasn't around at that time i couldn't i couldn't i can't ask this man at her house she won't give me a ride anywhere who the fuck cares if she thinks I'm musty? Who cares? Like, she wasn't there when I was sick. Feeling, you know, she wasn't there when I was going through that. She wasn't there just when I got kicked out of my house this morning. She wasn't even there. She wasn't even asking me. Like, and I get it. People don't owe you that. But in that moment, it just made me think, like, here I am worried about her opinion. Like, here I am worried about your opinion, right? You're telling me that I stink, but you don't even know what I've been through. You don't even know what I've just been through this morning. You don't know what I've been through with my health scare. Like, you don't know. All you know is that I'm affecting your senses and you feel some type of way about it, so you have to tell me about it. So in that moment, I kind of learned how people operate. I was like, yeah, people don't people don't really care. People don't really care to understand. And um, back to my back to that side note about deodorant. Um, I have stopped using deodorant, like, for years. But I feel like the more you use it, the more you need it. Because your body is, like, the chem... I, I, I don't know the chemistry, but the more you use it, the more you need it, right? So I literally... Uh, quit deodorant I, I did have a musty like four or five months right but who cares what people think it's for your health like literally I would I, I thought I was allergic to deodorant so I would use certain deodorants and I would like I just like couldn't even put my arms down like it would get like I remember getting like boils under my arms and I couldn't put my arms down I remember it burning and so I was thinking oh maybe I'm just allergic to deodorant I would just be trying different ones but like it's, I don't I don't think we're supposed to use deodorant. I don't there's something in there is not it's it's bad, right? And then I have my lumps in my breast. I remember my doctor checking my my uh things on my armpits and he's like, eh, there, you know, there's this, this little like slight slight concern. Like let's let's, let's just keep an eye on this. Uh, I had to get a biopsy. I had to I went through all that and I do feel like it stems from deodorant because I remember feeling like bump like like kind of like a like boils under my arms and uh, just thinking I was allergic, right? But that's not normal. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, I did have a musty like five five months, but now I don't use deodorant and I'm not musty. Like I don't, you know, on hot days I use I, I'll swipe alcohol, and that's it. And like I I don't have, my underarms are not dark. I feel like I, the deodorant makes your underarms dark, stains your clothes. The aluminum, the metal gets into gets into your body, and I know I, people I, people think I sound crazy. Like, I'm gonna use deodorant, but also I feel like just when we mask our natural smells, we just mask uh, our connection. Because how do animals find a partner? How do animals find their mate? Find their family? How do how do animals find their their babies? Right by by smell, right by by smell. So we kind of mask that with these deodorants, and uh, it was a musty five months. But who cares what people think? Look at the state of the world, right? This is kind of back to my topic. Look at the state of the world. How are you going to worry about what people think of you? Look at the world. The world's a messed up place. The world ain't doing so hot. So these <laughs> people people got it right. So I'm not going to listen to no, what nobody got to say when it comes to my health, mental health, physical health, how I feel. I don't care what none of y'all got to say because nobody has the answers. And, and, no, and look, just look at the state of things. Look at black families. Look at the dysfunction. Like, I'm not about to listen to you and what you got to say about what I'm doing with my life or what you think I smell like. Like, no. Bye. Anyway, back to my story. So, like, people, like I was saying, like, I, the whole point of the story is, like, people's energies will tell on them before their mouth can. Um, I, you know, I don't know if you, if you guys have ever been in this kind of situation where you say something, but, like, somebody takes it a whole nother way. Like, you can, for example, you can literally say, the sky is blue and then somebody's just like they'll take it a whole nother way they're, they'll they'll take it a whole nother way like the sky is blue and then they'll be like oh yeah because uh some, some like bring up something like just kind of has something to do with it but it'll kind of kind of kind of tell how they feel about you right kind of tell how they feel about you i have another story about that um that's so my friend was like something about, i was like I, I like bougie things or i'm kind of bougie and she was like yeah she she barely get out of her mouth. She said it so quick. She was like, yeah, yeah you, you is kind of bougie. And it's like, what? Like, you don't, you don't even really know me like that to, like, call me bougie. Like, yes, I like nice things. Yes, I like to look nice. Yes, I always make sure I got, make sure I always have whatever. I make sure. If I want it, I can have it. And I make sure. But, like, girl, you don't know me. Like, you didn't grow up with me. I literally grew up in foster care. I literally grew up sleeping on the floor, sleeping on the couch, not eating some nights, like poor shit, like pennies to McDonald's, Taco Bell, change for court. Like we used to have to take quarters to the wash house to wash our clothes. Like, and I would dip into that so I could eat. Like I literally grew up in poverty, like in poverty. So it's so funny. Like I, it, it wasn't just her. I've had a couple people like say, kind of reference like I'm kind of bougie I remember I had a guy tell me like he's like everything's not all about money and I'm like yeah easy for you to say from a two-parent household like easy for you to say as somebody who has family easy for you to say right you you, you don't know me they weren't like and it just 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 keeps giving like me dub like double reminders double checks like these people wasn't here they wasn't here when I was struggling they wasn't here when I was going through it but they sure got something to say. <laughs> they sure have some opinion about something. And it's just like, yeah, no. And this is why I take what people say with the grain of salt. And this is why it's okay to vibe solo. You know, I try to be, have patience and give people grace and honor people and where they are and where they are and they're learning about themselves and others and how they fit into this world. I always have to remember to practice grace, right? It's like time and time and time and time and time again, people show me that it's just like from a distance, from a distance. I have to distance myself from people. I have to, I have to just take a step back. And even myself sometimes, I could be, uh, I could be impatient. I could be judgmental. Very much so. It's, it's in us all, right? So I definitely have grace and patience for people. But where I draw the line is where people judge me for the things that I've had to overcome or have ju they judge me for things that I've like actively worked on or something I've like 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 I said things that I've overcome right like it's just so crazy to me like how people perceive you like how people will perceive you and then how they will project pro project that perception 
back on you, right? The, pro the projector that I always get is like bougie, uh, but you know, mostly people people think not. I'm not. This is not everybody. This is not. I'm not saying everybody thinks I'm bougie, but like the couple of issues I've had with friends, it just kind of seems like they just they look at me with like I don't want to say envy, but maybe it's a little bit envious. They look at me with envy. They look at me like, oh, she thinks she's better. Oh. But it's not that. It's really just a projection, right? It's how they feel about themselves. Then they look at me. And then they compare. And that's just like already, you're already going down a, a bad path. Com comparison, projecting. I've done nothing to these people. These people literally were not, they were not with me shooting in the gym for real. And like, time and time again, I keep remi get reminded of that. Um, so it, it's really okay to vibe solo. Like, you should really treat yourself like vip treat yourself like vip don't let anybody in there very important people only <laughs> special people only and i'm not saying that to go out and judge everybody because like i said nobody's perfect everybody's working on themselves give people grace but once people show you what they think about you once people show you how they feel about you you can move from there right you can move from there that's all you just, for me it's like I'll give it a few chances. I give it a few times, but if you show me a few times that you, it's just some funny, like some funny jealousy, jealousy projection, some funny funniness. You know, I let it get, I, I let, I let it validate itself a couple times, a few times, and then it's like, oh, okay, that's what you want, and I'm out. I'm gonna take a step back, right? I'm, not, I'm never just gonna leave somebody hanging. Like I'm never gonna leave my friends hanging. Obviously, like nobody's perfect. We're all in this journey, but I'm definitely gonna take a step back, and it's okay. It's okay to treat yourself like vip like not everybody can have access to you and that's okay because people is they will take what they say with a grain of salt they're not there with you when you go through certain things or when you grow through certain things or when you yeah let me be patient have grace with people try to have patience and grace with myself but once people show you where, where they're at just accept it and um don't accept anything less and it's okay People will always try to project onto you. People will always try to project onto you. And you're not crazy. You're not making things up. You're not like... Because <laughs> for a long time, and I, and I still kind of mess, you know, I still kind of feel that way. Um, like, damn, what is wrong with me? There's something wrong with me. Something's wrong with me. But nobody's perfect, and there's nothing wrong with you. People will project onto you how they feel about you. Be open and be perceptive to it. I know it's, this life is hard. I know this thing, thing is hard. And especially in black culture, black families, and black people, we're just used to, what are we used to? Gossiping. We're used to talking about people. We're used to judging people. It's just something that's in our nation. It's very unfortunate. I think it comes from the trauma of like <laughs> everything that we've gone through as a people, like not being good enough being second class citizens just uh, but I'm hoping we're taking a step in the right direction to um, to stop that type of mentality um, and to come together and work together because the more we're judging our own people who are us like you, you are me I am you we, we live in we're having this we're sharing the same experience here there's no need to judge me. There's no need to feel like I'm better than you. There's no need to feel like you're better than me. There's no need to feel like any negative emotion or anything that puts somebody down. There's no need to feel that way. Yeah. So I think that's really all I have to say. Just, it's okay to be solo. It's okay to take your time. Give people grace. Don't be judgmental. But realize that people will project onto you. But they weren't with you when you was going through things. They weren't. They, most people perceive life through their own eyes, right? And it's like, duh, how else can they perceive it, right? But they perceive life through their own eyes. People don't step outside of themselves to see it through other people, right? And even those that try, I feel like they kind of don't. They, they step outside of themselves, but they still are viewing it through the eyes of themselves and not fully and really putting themselves in somebody else's shoes, which nobody has to do like it's not like you have to do that right but i'm saying it's 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 it's, t it's tough out here it's tough out here it's tough out here for all of us and 
it's okay to vibe solo. Um, I pray that we all find our people, our group, that effortless friendships, the effortless soul connections, those those people that are around you because they like you and they, 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 they like who you are. You know what I mean? They're not judging you. They're not, they don't like you for what you can give them. They don't like you for 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 how you look or anything. They, they, they really like you for who you are. I pray that we all find our soul group, our people that can help us elevate. That we don't have to put a mask on around. That we don't have to act like a certain way around. That we could just fully be ourselves. We could be happy being ourselves. We could grow. We could thrive. I pray that we all find that. Because if we all find that, we all find that comfortability, we can take over the world, really. But if we're hanging out with people who are projecting on us, judging us, don't really like us, it's like crap to the crap to the fucking bucket. And I hate to say that. It's like beating a dead horse. How many times do we say that? How many times do we hear that? But it is. It's like you're hanging out with people who low-key don't like you or you're hanging out with people who low-key feel some type of negative way about you. you you're, you're, we're hanging out with people who low-key are jealous or have these negative emotions. That Those negative emotions will taint any good coming to you. Those negative emotions will over we're supersede any good things like so it's important that we're not like hanging out with people that we don't like or are jealous of or feel any type of way or feel like we're better than them or feel like they're beneath us or don't hang out with those type of people right get it get in the get in the rooms with people who you can grow with like and if you're the type of person who has to be in a room with people who you feel better than to make yourself feel better then you have a lot of work to do on yourself right you got a lot of you got a lot of work to do with yourself because what benefit does that bring you right what benefit does being the best person in the room bring you you want to get in a room with other people that are the best people so you guys can grow right life is about growth elevation um and that was all that was all my spirit just friendships and i kind of been wanting to make this video about like friendship like how do you break up with your friend like how do you like how much grace do you give people? How many times do you have to turn the other cheek? How many times do we have to just give grace? And I just want to validate that you're, it's validated that people are moving from grimy places, slimy places, and it's okay to vibe solo. Um, but every day I pray. Every day I pray to find my soul group. Every day I pray to find people who are my friends, the friendships that are effortless, that are, that are non-judgmental. I pray to find my true soulmate who loves me for me and not what I can do for him or not what I look like, that just loves me for me and sees me. I pray for that every single day. I pray for friends every day. I pray that my friends find their path. I pray that my friends find their happiness, their peace, so that they're not in a judgmental space. I pray that my friends elevate. I pray that we all elevate. We all elevate. Even people that don't like me, people I don't get along with, I pray for their elevation too. Because if they're elevated, this world is a better place. And that's all. That's all we should be working for is to make this world a better place. To find our destiny and find our path. That is really what this life is about. This other stuff is bullshit like so even this relationship shit it's like an ego validation and i'm not here to validate my ego i'm here to find my purpose and walk in my purpose right to find my destiny and to do that to elevate myself to elevate those that came before me my ancestors to elevate god i'm here to elevate my surroundings right and that's why i'm here i'm not here just for the relationship shit so to speak right and um i have a friend who was like you know she asked me like oh how, how are you and your boyfriend how are you and that guy and i'm just like oh I, i'm i'm like not you know i'm kind of in about it and she's like oh well i'm noticing a pattern and it's like girl go by what are you talking about mind your business like noticing a pattern noticing a pattern for me not standing up not for me not accepting what's not for me or for me for me not accepting something that's not in my path or for me not accepting something that's not conducive to my elevation right you know seeing a pattern like how, what kind of shit does that say to somebody should be happy that i'm not falling into the 
falling into the, the, the pits of like that because that is not conducive to my relationship, right? And I'm not going to stick around for something that's not fulfilling me. And I'm not saying that that, you know, relationship, that relationship wasn't filling me or relationship not filling me, but it's like I am here on a mission and relationships, it's, it's, that's a side story, right? It's a side story until I find my partner in this life, until I find my soulmate, until I find my, the person that wants to elevate with me and the person that I could, I feel, I resonate with that is like effortless. And I, and I, and not, and just as much as I pray for a soulmate, I pray for friends that, like, real friends that, like, have my best interests at heart and are not focused on the lonely, earthly things, right? And of course, we're human, we're not perfect, right? Of course, I still gossip, of course, I still, you know, do, do certain things that are not perfect, but I do recognize them and I do try to attempt to be better. And uh, yeah, that's, that's really what was on my heart to share and get that off my chest and Hopefully somebody resonates with it. Hopefully somebody resonates with that. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm kind of talking to myself at this point, but it's okay. It's like a, it's like really like a video journal, right? If nothing else, if nobody else, I'll watch it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I hope you can take something from this video. Thank you for watching it. If you got this far, I appreciate you so much. Um, I pray that you're learning, growing every day. I pray that you align with your friends, align with your soulmate, align with all your blessings in this life. Yeah, so have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Um, I'll be making more videos. I know I always say that. I have like so many video ideas. I have so many videos recorded that I scratch because I don't like them. <laughs> Uh, but I'm doing the best I can in this life, but I'm so happy. I'm happy with my growth and, um, yeah. Thank you for being here. Have a good day.